IQ Stock is an Excel add-in that lets you process your physical inventory counts within the familiar Excel environment. The process begins within SAP. Your inventory administrator will generate physical inventory documents within the SAP GUI as demonstrated here. In this case, I'm generating an account for Plant 1000 Storage Location MAM1 for today's date. Note that I've generated a physical inventory document number 1016. Processing of the stock take then continues inside Excel. Within a normal Excel workbook, we now have a new tab for IQ stock. Initially, a connection is formed to the target SAP system, and then the uh, site based administrator can retrieve the SAP physical inventory documents to complete the count. Inventory documents are selected based on plant and relevant storage location. and inserted into the Excel workbook based on predefined templates. The site administrator is then able to easily process the actual count results directly into Excel using familiar Excel functionality including formulas and VLOOKUPs and other convenient data entry methods. Once the count results are entered, the site administrator submits these to SAP saving new counts and updating previous counts. At this point what we'll see is the counted value column being populated with the valuation of the actual count times the book value of each item. For comparison purposes the book quantity is now also indicated. This provides the site administrator with the opportunity to validate count results identifying variances they're able to recount selected items perhaps finding the additional gaskets and confirming that there were indeed zero casings on hand the site administrator is able to update the count results as often as required at all times reviewing the, uh, the variances determined again using familiar Excel functionality such as formulas to verify the uh, count quantity and value variances. If the remaining items are event finally counted, the site administrator can submit those. And if this is deemed to be the final count result, the count can be posted and variances updated. This is done through the option post differences and adjust stock levels. By clicking refresh we can view the material document number that has been generated to update the variances in SAP. So if we now flick back to our SAP system we should see a, um, for the various storage location in a transaction like MC.5 we should see the updated count results. Thank you very much for your time.